Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Metal 7 Gaming, and we're playing Celasta Crown of the Magister. So last episode, we talked to the orc here who's on guard, Arbal, and he has given us permission to sneak in just because he wants to see the fight. So in we go. Uh, let's make sure we are cautious again as we creep forward. It uh, looks like we just got to go as far as as far as this glowy blue thing. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to teleport us somewhere, but nope. Well, kind of, I guess. Into another cutscene. Look at that. This was market. All could come. More like a military outpost. Red Scar take to control entrance to Volcano. Is this Orc your chieftain, Kebra? That Brock, Sun Cloud chief, Arog show him off as prisoner. This Arog thinks he's smart. Too bad for him. He should have killed Brock when he had the chance. Let's go. All right. Let us figure out what we got going on here. Okay. That can be dropped. We need to get up to there. Oh, that's where he is. Okay. And we do have a rest spot there. So does that mean we're allowed to rest there? I have a feeling not. Figure out how I want to... Oh, we got a trap there. Oh, let's grab our thief and... Apparently we can't actually do anything about that. It's showing red. Heat from the volcano, maybe? Is that what they're trying to tell us? Maybe if you push somebody there, they would take damage? Entirely possible. Zoom back out again. Alright, so we've got an orc archer there. We've got an orc shaman there. We could get some people up there. Hmm. Let's check the map real fast. Shaman, Beastmaster, Red Scar, Orch Archer, Dire Wolf, Red Scar. Okay. We're down here. So the question is. Can we get around this way? Hmm. I'm going to do a quick save just in case we blow this. And I don't have to do the cutscenes again. That's really all I'm trying to protect myself from here is just cutscenes. All right. Not really sure how we want to go about this. We seem to be fine here. Nobody's nobody's looking at us. But I'm gonna move everybody else back, and I'm just gonna take our rogue. And I'm gonna kinda sneak around over here and see what we can see. Give me a weird tongue sound. Yeah, I don't like that. It keeps making me think something's happened, but clearly nothing has. Let's see. Can we just walk up this wall? Yes, we can. All right, what's in these? Ah, uh, some arrows, corrosive and flash bolts, okay. Like that. Food, regular arrows, don't care about that at the moment. We might come back to that. For the moment, I'm not as 
more food. Okay. I'm going to hit M real fast and kind of get a better look. Again, we've got a dire wolf down there. A red scar on that. So we've got one, two, three down low-ish. One on the ground, two to the first level, three on the top level. We've got some more loot over there. So let's go ahead. I heard the dire wolf, but I've yet to see it. Oh, there he is. All right, and the archer's at the top there. Where does he go? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we've got, still got the same six. We've got some stuff up there I don't really care about. The question now is, how do we want to... It does show it as a trap, but not something that we could disarm. So the question is, what do we want to do? We've got those six there. How do we set up a trap to pull guys out? Do we want to pull people here and then maybe push them onto this, potentially? Um, we could do that. We could separate with, say, our two... Um... With our ranger and our rogue. You know, and run them around back to shoot at things. Um, you know, we've got the two characters that can climb on stuff. Um, we could get altitude with him, right? Which isn't... Oh, hold on. What do we have here? Some boxes in the dark, but I can't really see in. But that's okay. We'll sneak up here. Oh, I like that. We might have found a magic shortbow. That could help us here. And a moonflower. Okay. Not as useful, but you never know. I'm kind of thinking right now that what I'd like to do is... I think... I'm going to kind of get to this edge over here. I think I'm just going to start the fight from back over here. You know, maybe we put the ranger or... Actually, we'll probably start it with him because we can do an aim, right? Everybody else will live back here. And then we'll pull people to us. I don't know how well that's going to work. But I think that's a way to kind of gate these guys and keep maybe like the shaman from coming at us. We have a couple of these, so we could potentially, excuse me, push people into them. We might be able to shoot stuff like this and get something out of it. Um, I'm going to come over here really quickly, oops, eventually, and have her do a quick uh, investigate on that. Um, I think we're hidden enough. We can get away with this. And we want to go here, and we want to check this bow out. We would have a couple magic bows. You know, we've got one already. Short bow plus one. Okay, let's go ahead and put her back on Cautious. And I believe that's what he already has. Yeah, short bow of accuracy. So let's go ahead and throw this up to here. Because his bow, he's got a long bow, but it's standard? I don't know. 1d6 plus one. So that means we're going to do two to seven versus one to eight. That should average out, and that light already turned off. That's okay, though. I think our lighting's okay. Um, that probably is fine. 
with an extra plus one to hit. I think we can go with that. Yeah, that should be okay. All right. So the question then is, if I go ahead and we use you like right here, you right here, we're gonna put you, I don't know where. Probably right here as well. Hold on, let's move you out. Put you here. Put you back here. I don't know what... Do so you have any spells that are... Oh, you got all sorts of cool stuff. Okay, we'll be okay with you. We got some neat stuff in here. Let's see, invisible, aid. Okay, clerical stuff. That'll be good. How long does aid last? Uh, instant, components... It doesn't say. <laughs> Temporarily. Duration instant. So I'm not really sure. Bark skin. Lesser restoration. Mass healing. That'll be good. Daylight. We can just toss daylight in here. So anybody comes in, we don't have to deal with the darkness. Um, how long does that one last? An hour. Okay. I'm not sure it's worth using one of those, but don't we have that shine? We've got probably enough light on weapons already, so I think I'll be okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to hmm, who do I want to pull in first? Maybe that Beastmaster. Well, I'll just step over here. I'm just going to step over here. And then I'm going to switch to my bow. And how about you? And this first round, because they're all surprised, we might just shoot everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he's going to get a second attack. So we may as well take aim. And then we'll end our turn for... Uh, I might jump up here. And we'll jump him down after his turn next time, right? So he'll come up, he'll take the shot. Next turn, he'll jump down. Um, she's got a crossbow. She can also get to here and do the same thing. <laughs> I love the... The bolts and stuff. Yeah, we'll go to take some shots this way. You know, maybe we even kill this guy. Hopefully. Um, long before he dies. Use power. No, we don't have that. Um, do I action search here? Sure, why not? I say we might be able to kill people before they even have a chance to do anything this way. Oh, wait, who else can she see? Him? Not him. Okay, so him. We have to the, the other Beastmaster. All right, so he's taken some more damage. So her turn ends. He doesn't do anything. All right, if we go to you, maybe to here... Hmm. Doesn't look like I'm going to get vision on that guy at all. Now, the wolves can get a chance to go before he gets to go. So we might just be better off Stepping off to the side here. Since he's not going to get any cover. Any of these places, which is a little worrying. But I think what I'm going to do here is... Nope, can't see there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to ready. A ranged attack. Yep. Yep. 
Um, and then I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast. What if we do a conjure elemental? Um, not a fire one, right? We're already in the volcano. They might be good at that. Let's go an air element. And I'm actually going to, I'm actually gonna put it back here with us because I do want them to come this direction, right? And you, what are you gonna do for us? Revivify doesn't help us, Acid Arrow, Thunder Wave, Long Strider, that's not too bad, Bless. Saving throws and attack rolls. How about you, you, and you? And we end our turn there. All right, their surprise ends. We get another chance at this guy. Really, why, did, why can I not see him? go here. I might then just drop back down to here, actually. Oh, nat 20. And he failed his poison save. All right, I'm going to drop back down to here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit aim. And we'll end his turn. We'll put her up here. Hopefully we finish off this next Beastmaster. Oh wait, can we see anybody else? Can we see that guy? Anybody else? Shaman? No. Okay, well what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drop her down to here and I don't think we'll probably see anybody. Um, I'm just gonna end her turn right here. We don't really get a chance. He does what he does. He's going to cause some problems out there. Hmm. I expected the dire wolf to come towards us. I'm going to move him out just a little bit. And once again, I'm just going to uh, ready. This might cause a good enough kind of distraction that we can just kind of roll out, right, in mass. Um, I don't know that that's going to be the case. I'm looking to see if we have vision anywhere on anybody. I'm honestly fine to play this patient. And I'm just going to ready a cantrip attack. Let's go Ray of Frost, cantrip attack. Um, ready. Oh, it said none there. Okay, that is what it is. All right, he blurs himself. If I go to here, do I see anybody? No. Where do I want to go? If I were to dash, how far could I get? I get to here. I don't know that this is a good idea. I really should just stay patient and stay in back. But uh, we might be able to pick some people off. He is still hidden, so there's that. Oh, I don't have to go very far. I can go to here. She's also still hidden. Made its con save. We're still hidden, though. 
That'll clearly hit. And down he goes. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. They're down to four. I think we just move forward, honestly. I think he hides. And I don't think we need to waste too many more spells. He's almost got that archer. Probably get him next turn. I don't know why the dire wolf hasn't done anything yet. That gets us a shot at somebody. And we'll just kind of creep forward like this with the bows. Seventeen? Got him. Is it enough? Yes. Not there, though. Not there. Uh, I think we just end our turn. I'll be honest with you, this fight's turning out to be a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I don't know if that's just because I did it right, or if it's because, uh... It's just an easier fight, which is entirely possible. Uh, and I'm just going to ready a cantrip attack. Uh, again, I don't. And I don't think she's got... Uh, we'll do Ray of Frost with her, too. I was looking to see how far forward I need to get to get the dire wolf. Good hit. Failed its con save. May as well hit take aim. Um, I'm gonna dash. We'll go to there. That way, if a dire wolf or something does come forward, and we'll actually get... Yeah, it could come forward this turn. We'll get a chance at it. We'll see what it does right here. That guy's going to be going down fast, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's taking some damage. So, so far, the dog has not come forward. I don't really know what to think of that. I don't know if it's because the Beastmasters are dead... It says he's got partial cover everywhere. So I wonder maybe he's in like an invisible wall of some sort and he can't do anything without the Beastmaster summoning him? Do we think that's possible? We'll get a nice little diagonal firing line here. I mean, we just have this orc and the direwolf left. Oh, and he's paralyzed. Oh, he's he's so toast. And then we can firebolt him or something. Is that it? He's got two health left. Let's see, can she? Can he be finished by an orc? Can Kebra get a little bit of revenge? My question is... Ray of Frost have that much range? No. Do we have something else she can cast that might... Oh yeah, let's do an Acid Bolt. That'll get there. It's overkill for two hit points, but I just... I want to give the I want to give the orc the chance to get some revenge. That's all I'm thinking of. Okay. Oh, he has to, he's one too far away, or she's one too far away. Sneak up a little bit, crossbow bolt him in the face. Nat 20. 
We increased a bunch of our stuff. We killed some Red Scar L Orcs. The game is paused on us. We did okay. I'm going to uncautious us for the moment. I'm going to walk up and see what type of loot we can grab. Um, how about you get some loot? Money, some healing. Okay. We'll just send you all over the place. Get some more of our crossbow bolts back. Nothing else fancy there. Little chest there. Okay, regular rapier. Doesn't do much for us. Um, 10 magic arrows, we'll take that. Might take the rest of the arrows too. Um, anything else? I can't, uh, we haven't got this yet. Okay. Nope, nope, different ones. All right, good enough. All right, so I think, I mean, we can come down and grab this real fast. If nothing else, because we get our arrows back, right? And run back over here. Grab everybody. And let me hand back some of those arrows. Let's see. Magic arrows plus one. We'll give those to him. And you can get back these. And you can get back those. Oh, once again, different one. We got four of those. Okay. And those will just pass down to there. I might put some flash bolts there. That looks good. Okay. So we can rest real fast. I don't know that we need to. I'm going to check that first. Okay, more more poison bolts. Um, different than what we have. Okay. So I guess we'll grab everybody and we'll come up here and talk to the orc. I'm hoping we'll be able to rest after that if we decide we need to. But we haven't used much for spells. Our hit points are fine. Jebra, you alive? Alive? These nyarks help me, Brock. Why? Nyarks hate orcs. They want Harok, his power. Orcs and Nyarks, not friends. But Harok, he bring doom to cradle of fire all tribes. Tell us how Arik destroyed your tribe. Arik used power of fire. More fire. Stronger fire. No orc shaman can do such fire. All tribes kneel. What can you tell us about Arok? Arok shaman of Red Scar. Never big orc. Arok search in Sunken City. Find new power. Power of fire. Unstoppable. We'd like to meet this Arok. Can you help? Help kill Arok, yes. Arok behind Red Scar Gate in Sunken City. Arok and Red Scar, hard to fight. Need all drives together. What is the Sunken City you spoke of? Elf Town. Old Empire sunk into Earth, melted with Volcano. A Manicalan city down inside a volcano? It's the Badlands. The fun just keeps on coming. Can we just, pardon my Elvish, just find this Arak and beat the snot out of him? No, too many orcs, too much power. What do you mean, 
need all tribes. Arakan Red Scar strong. You Nyox, not enough strong. But with four tribes together, maybe win. We'll never convince four tribes of orcs to help us. No, but orcs always want leader. Maybe Brock leader instead of Arok. If you help, tribes follow Brock. Help you become the new big man in the volcano. You're smart. We go. Tell other tribe leaders. Brock say all tribes fight Arok together. All right, done and dusted. Making we don't even need to play the rest of it. Of what could possibly go wrong? If we must, we will. So it's deeper into the caves? Heart of the mountain? Sounds charming. I'm in. I like caves. Okay. Oh, did we grab that loot? We had not. All right, um, take the elevator. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rest, we've got the food, and we can grab four more if we decide we really, really want it. There's no point in rushing in and dying, um, but we'll be back next episode. I think we got most of what we wanted to accomplish today done. Well, it doesn't matter if we did or not. We're, we're 30 minutes in, right? So that's, that's kind of it. Um, do you wanna change your spells at all? I don't think so. I think we're okay with this. Fireball may or may not be super useful down there. Um, but it'll be useful against orcs, so even if there's fire elementals or something, we should do okay with that. Otherwise, I think we're okay. We could do see invisibility. We might need it. Um, we'll just kind of play with it and see. Um, in theory, if we get to continue to take our orc shaman with us, she already has it. Um, so hopefully we won't need it. So I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.